Hello, this is the Game Queen here. Back with the Magic School Bus Explores Bugs. We are at this experiment tricks mixing machine thingy. And we're gonna ooh. Um yeah, I I was having my doubts that I played this game as a kid, but now I know I did because I know I know this game. So I'm very excited. I like this one. It's cute. It's cute. Lots of mini games. It's adorable. Lots of sciencey things. Fireflies use light to signal each other. Each species has its own language of love, but the males and females don't always say the same thing. If just the right signals are made, the two fireflies will live happily ever after. But if signals are crossed, they'll either go their separate ways or the would-be groom becomes a meal. Your job is to find the different patterns that go together. Click on the male and female to choose a light pattern for each. Then flip the switch to see what happens. It's Firefly Live. So, I don't remember... Uh... Oh, okay, so there's only two male patterns here. Lots of females. Lots of ladies. So, let's try it. No? Yes? Oh, well, it looks like these two don't speak the same language. <laughs> Their light patterns don't attract each other at all. Oh, well. Let's try this. <laughs> Look how cute she is, he hops. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. What a happy couple. These two are the same species, and their light patterns are the perfect mix. You've got a real future as a matchmaker. Let's try this one, now that we know that that one works. Oh, well, it looks like these two don't speak the same language. Their light patterns don't attract each other at all. I could never see, like, a pattern in this. Uh-oh. <laughs> that oh female God. firefly really fooled that lovesick male. Looks like this was his last performance. Oh, that's so sad. So if that one didn't work, this one might. So cute, look at her. She hops. <laughs> what a happy couple. These Yay. two are the same species, and their light patterns are the perfect mix. You've got a real future as a matchmaker. Wonder what'll happen with these. Well, it looks like these two don't speak the same language. Their light patterns don't attract each other at all. Hmm. Oh, well, it looks like these two... No, okay. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. Okay. I don't see how the patterns mesh. I don't get it, but maybe someone does. Let's... Let's There's try. no doubt about it. Insects are frequent flyers. How do they do it? They've got the right wings, the right body, and the right wing speed to get them going. Your job is to pick the perfect combination to get this bug off the ground. Just click on the wing speed, wing type, and body you want to try, and then click on the throttle. Okay, give it a whirl! Okay. So, let's try it as is. Congratulations! That bumblebee has everything it needs to fly like a pro. It's going to take a bit oh, no. of work to get this bumblebee no. off the ground. Try a different combination of wings and their speed. Okay. Oh, oh. that's cruel. Nature is cruel. It's going to take a bit more work to get this bumblebee off the uh -huh. ground. Try a different combination of wings and their speed. It almost made it. The flight of this bee may not last very long. <laughs> How about trying different wings or a different speed? The flight of this bee may not last very <laughs> long. How about trying different wings or a different speed? Let's see. Oh, look at all these interesting wings. The flight of this bee may not last very long. Nope. How okay. about trying different wings or a different speed? So, I guess only one wing matches each bee. 
Uh, but, but... Good job! This little honeybee can buzz off perfectly to wherever it would like to go. I don't know if moths... Moss takeoff completed, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty rough flight. Oh. Try a different combination of wings and their speed. Yeah, it means slower wing speed. It's just going Look crazy. at that Muna Moth fly. He's really got what it takes, thanks to you. Yeah, I control the bug powers. I'm awesome. Hmm. I wonder which wing type matches this specifically patterned bug body. Hmm. Okay. Wow! What a spectacular flight for this tiger moth. Nice job! Yeah, I'm awesome. Oh, its wings are like, uh oh. Uh, let's see what happens. That's happened. one big, sad dragonfly oh. who just became Liz's life. Oh, it's so cruel. My, oh my! Look at that darner dragon. Why? <laughs> you put together a great flight plan for this one. Okay, next. I just want to see... <laughs> I just want to see it fall because it's so sad this day. I think this small dragonfly needed some work, but too late now. No. Oh. Well, Liz is happy. So, that's all that matters? This skimmer dragonfly is having the flight of her life, and you put her up there. Nice yeah. going. Woo! Oh, yeah, we're done. Okay, next. Oh, wow, there are fewer than I thought. Okay. Hmm. Let's oh, that. how I love to dance the factorina. I still don't get that. In some places, so many mayflies hatch and die that they have to be shoveled off the roads, just like snow. That's kind of creepy. Great. So, this, uh, there is not much left, I think. Galaxy, there's no place like school. Let's burn. Yeah. I... Our school looks just fine. And what's more, to get back there, just use the door. Yeah. Okay. So this is it. Um, there's not much else to do unless you want me to click around some more on more bugs and stuff. I think we're pretty good though. Thank you so much for joining me on this Let's Play of The Magic School Bus Explores Bugs. I know everybody loves The Magic School Bus. I really did too when I was a kid. Thank you so much to subscribers. I know I haven't been posting much. It's been very rough trying to balance things, but I, I read all your messages. I know you're there. Love you all. Uh, see you next time I do a Let's Play. This is the Game Queen saying bye.